we talk about the true cost of a natural disaster, the conversation is often about people. But Dan Grossman found that animals may also be aware of how the changing climate is impacting their habits. Organism responses to climate change is a pretty big deal. Where most might find uncertainty unnerving. And so I think what's exciting is we don't really know on balance which of those it is for really any organisms at this point. Michael Dillon finds it particularly stimulating. We really haven't looked into it much. <laughs> so we got really excited about saying, hey, this is something that we should be looking at as scientists. The question he poses is in regard to animals, like these birds, and how they adapt to climate change. And what he has found is what you might expect from an associate professor of zoology and physiology. Yeah, I, I hate to give you the, the typical scientist answer, but I just don't know. But there are theories. Michael recently helped write a paper that looks at how animals in our world adapt to changing conditions in our environment. He found that the ways birds construct their nests, spiders construct their webs, and termites construct their tunnels change based on the weather they experience. In some cases, animals have shifted their breeding habits to match earlier springs, but it comes at a consequence. They really only do that in response to the initial conditions they face. So when they first arrive to nest somewhere, even though temperatures change the season, if they go to build nests again, they still respond as if they're responding to the initial conditions. The fear is not all animals adapt this way or that some animals might not adapt fast enough. A study published in Nature Communications in 2019 found that in the last 50 years, birds have laid their eggs about two weeks earlier than before. But that still lags behind the pace at which the caterpillars they prey on have changed their mating habits. If the birds don't catch up, those eggs might hatch after the caterpillars have evolved and they could starve. You know, we call it plasticity, but you might think of it as sort of flexibility in behaviors. Um, the degree to which organisms, animals in particular, change what they're doing in response to the local conditions they experience. You know, animals are small relative to the scales at which we measure climate. Think of what we do as humans. We raise homes along the beach to avoid flooding. We build grasslands and dunes to prevent the creeping tides of severe weather. Animals do the same. The question is, are they doing it fast enough? I'm Dan Grossman. Thank you for joining us this week for our look at natural disasters. Next week, our topic is education. Students are going back to class as states grapple with the Delta variant. We're looking at how this school year will be different and how the lessons taught in the classroom are changing. Until then, from El Dorado County, California, I'm Chris Stewart, and this is The Race.